We're making bourbon cocktails today. Yay. So Jamie, you know what the best thing about these cocktails videos are? What, David? We get, to try, me. we get to try a bunch of different cocktails and we get to do it with a bunch of different whiskeys, which is pretty fun too. The downside, we have to make them. And making cocktails can sometimes be a hassle. So the whole point of this video is to do some simple cocktails. Yep. So this calls for two ounces of makers, well, two ounces of bourbon, and then a tablespoonful of real maple syrup and four ounces of black tea. Now this is a spiked Southern tea. All right. So, <laughs> All two, right, two, so ounces two of that. Of yep. I'm gonna make you some good cocktails tonight, David. I hope so. They better be good. And none of them have beer in it. <sighs> yeah, that's a disaster. All okay. right. Now we need to add in the one tablespoon of maple syrup. Okay. Just want to make sure I get all that maple syrup in there. Yeah, don't leave any, don't, no maple syrup left behind. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then four ounces of black tea. Ooh, good pour. How much ice do you want, Jamie? Just keep going. I would fill it. This, I, I like extra ice in my cocktails. Is this a hot Georgia Southern day or more of a cool uh, Michigan summer day? I've done 33 stirs, Jamie. Go for it. Hmm. Does it work? Yeah. All right, David, what's next? Boulevardier. Boulevardier. No, Boulevardier. Boulevardier. There you go. Look at that. Boulevardier. Boulevardier. Basically, this is a bourbon version of a Negroni. So all we're talking about, we're going to do one ounce of bourbon. I grabbed the Jim Beam Black for this one. And then we're going to do one ounce of Campari and one ounce of sweet vermouth with a lemon peel garnish. And we're going to put all of those ingredients into this cup to mix them. Orange peel garnish. What did I say? A lemon peel. Yeah, it's an orange peel, just like I said, Jamie. <laughs> an orange peel garnish. And then we're going to mix everything up in this with some ice, stir it up really good, and then we're going to strain it into that glass with the wonderful, beautiful orange garnish. One ounce of each of these into this thing. The Boulevardier originates in the... Uh, um, the, the the whiskey fields of France, uh, where poor peasants would, on their lunch breaks, would go and take the bourbon from the vines and mix it with other various uh, cocktail mixers that J like Jamie is doing, and then have them for lunches when they were taking breaks in the fields. Um, I don't think that's true at all. But <laughs> I was like, I'm sitting here Jamie like, asked I'll me, let him talk. Jamie asked me for a story. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Let's put some ice in here. One, two, three, four. Can you stir that up for me, Jamie? Yes. We gonna shake it? I mean, I can shake it real quick if you want, but okay, it's nice and cold now. We got one of David's whiskey row glasses. Try it, Jamie. What do you think? I All think it's, right. it's pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's a little like sour, bitter. Well, so the I think Ooh. you're getting flavors from the Campari and the sweet vermouth. The sweet <laughs> vermouth we're using is Antica Formula Vermouth Giuseppe Carpano, Antica Rossetti, Reseda Vermouth Pregaggio. I don't know. Anyway, this is the vermouth we're using. If you're looking for the vermouth, I don't know if it's any good or not, but all right, let's down this thing. It's very refined. <laughs> I don't taste bourbon at all. I taste Campari, bitter. sweet vermouth, bitter. It's David. got kind of a fruitiness I like though. David, what are it's we weird. drinking? Bouvardier. You, you say it even better after you drink it. It's not sweet enough for me. Like it has a very... Yeah, there's a sharp kind of a bitter tang to it. Take a bigger sip without using the straw. Take, take, it, take it out of the glass and see a bigger mouthful. Ooh, you can see how that's a lot different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, my eye. Oh, it's, it's so much better without the straw. Yeah, yeah. 
I almost taste like it, a berry at the beginning. Yeah, it's like a, a kind of a, a, a teeny bit of a bitter berry. Vanilla. With some sweetness. Why? I well, the sweetness like, might be coming from the uh, from the bourbon. It. I feel like it's. It tastes a little vanilla, like a berry vanilla, and then it gets really bitter at the end. Well, you know what I would almost want to do with this is add more bourbon. Mm -hmm. Is if it had like instead of one ounce, it would take it was over like that two ounces. Yeah, and it would. I think it would balance that. Here, here. let's yeah. do it. Do do like maybe since we've already drunk like half of it, why don't you put in like half ounce? All right, kind of lost my little straw stir. <laughs> well, we're gonna cocktails. throw it back over the ice. Okay. Sort of. We got some of it in there. <laughs> Chilled it off a little bit. Strain it out. All right. Now try it, Jamie. Nice. And that orange is like. It's very orangey. Oh, a hundred times better. Is it? All I, I do wonder... is taste is that bourbon. Now it's just bourbon? No, I no, I taste the bourbon, that sweetness, mm -hmm. and I do get all the other flavors in it. It's just the bitters is not as as strong. So you're right on with that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're gonna make a boulevardier boulevardier, I know you gotta do <laughs> two ounces, uh, try it with two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of sweet vermouth, and one ounce of Campari. And you might like it a little better, especially if you're a bourbon lover. Right. Up next, we have the Silver 75. And this specifically calls for Buffalo Trace. I don't know why, but we're going to find out in a second. Yeah. So this is an ounce and a half of Buffalo Trace, one ounce of simple syrup. Uh, we've got uh, basically a half ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then we have a uh, little bit of uh, lemon peel and cherry for garnish. And we're going to top all that off with some sparkling white wine slash Prosecco because... This, this seems like it might be my jam. Yes, yes. So what we do on this is we mix the three measured ingredients, and then we just top it off with the Prosecco and garnish it. All right, so... So one and a half ounces of that. Some buffalo trace. Yep, got to have the buffalo trace. Key ingredients, whiskey. So then one ounce of simple syrup. I got you, Captain. Now add the freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay. I freshly squeezed it before we started filming. Okay. okay, now top it off with some sparkling white wine. Ooh. Slash Prosecco, which has been chilled. And then garnish with a cherry. Do we do any ice? Uh, no. Oh, that's so pretty. Here we go, guys. It's Silver 75. This is like a bourbon mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try that. It's really good. I don't normally don't like mimosas, but if it's a bourbon mimosa, <laughs> then maybe you could convert me. That's fantastic. That's really good. So it, it's like this little bit of a, a honey lemon sparkling with like all the nice bourbon notes underneath it. I can see myself sitting out by the pool, mm -hmm. drinking us a silver 75. Mm -hmm. David, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is too girly for you to drink. If it has bourbon in it, it's not too girly for me. I'm good. They're like, are you drinking a mimosa, David? I'll be like, it's got <laughs> Buffalo Trace in it. And everybody's like, nice. Right. So up next is a whiskey and apple juice. We're going to mix two ounces of this George Remus coming in at 94 proof. Fantastic bourbon. I really do enjoy this one. Uh, two ounces of this along with some freshly pressed green apple juice that I made upstairs. And then we're going to garnish it. So it's pretty basic. It's really just whiskey and some apple juice uh, with some garnish. So cool. let's do it. Why don't you just drink your cocktail? I know. I was like, I'll watch you for this one. So are any of these bourbons that you're using for these cocktails, are they high priced or rare to find? Uh, Buffalo Trace can be a little hard to find, but it's only 25 bucks. Otherwise, everything's been fairly easy to find. Every store, every area, or every region, every state has their own little eccentricities. Pick out your own bourbon. That's what David and I did for this cocktail video. Yeah. We picked our own. Uh, yeah, and I try to look at the ingredients and see what I think might play nicely. And sometimes I pick well, and sometimes I don't. And you may disagree with my choices, and that's okay too. Leave a comment below <laughs> and let me know which cocktail I screwed up on, or we screwed up on, and which... <laughs> bourbon or whiskey we should have used instead that would have made it so much better uh, let me get my apple fan for garnish so to do an apple fan jamie you take apple slices very thin apple slices and then you fan them like this and then they stick together because they're apple slices and they like to stick together and you fan it like that and you kind of press them a little bit 
and then you set it in your drink. Boom. No. Nope. So look at this, guys. It's and it's very thick. David's so we've apple fans. We freshly made apple cider. You can do this with just like regular store bought apple juice, or you can do it with apple cider. Uh, we I kind of literally took an apple, sliced it all up, and I blended it, and then it smells like the Widow Jane, the apple and oak. It tastes like apple cider. Spiked apple not, cider. Yeah, not it's not sweet though. Hmm. It's just like appley. It's real refreshing. It's kind of thick, like Moshi, because you spent all that time. I did playing I with so apples much upstairs in the kitchen. I kind of like it. A little uh, warm. I think it needs to be cooled off for summer. Now I'll try it. It's got some ice in there. Oh, I like it. Now. It's better now. So I think it might be better if without the cidery, if it were more of just pure apple juice. So maybe try that one with just buy like a hundred percent apple juice from the store, chill it, and then do this, and it might be a little bit better. Blending you, in the mushing up the apples. Don't make, do all that work. Just don't do just that. Work. Pour in the just apple bourbon, juice. apple juice. Skip the garnish. Add some ice. Go to the pool. Drink it. Have fun. So normally you do the grapefruit twist at the end, but this is beyond the row whiskey row. We do things a little out of order. What's cocktail called? It's called the blinker. Okay, so this is rye whiskey. It is raspberry simple syrup and grapefruit juice. Uh, quarter ounce. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, It'll be perfect. a little more raspberry, but it wasn't quite a half. It was about a third. Yeah, but it's the skinny raspberry, so it doesn't taste as sweet. So True. Okay. I don't know if that's true or not, Jamie, but we'll run with it. And then we have a half ounce of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice okay. from this grapefruit that I recently cut open and squeezed. Well, yeah, so we're actually supposed to put that into the shaker with ice. I feel like we're going backwards. We are. We're doing this in the wrong order, but it's okay because we're not professional bartenders. Ooh. So don't throw the... Yeah, don't throw that in there. There you go. Okay, you hold it. All right. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now we throw in some ice. We're gonna shake it up. Gosh. David, <laughs> you hit me in the face. Ooh, that looks like pink lemonade. Whoa, David. Don't tip it, don't tip it. <laughs> All right, How does here we the, go. How's the blinker taste? This looks pretty. It's very pretty. Oh! <gasps> That's a good look, guys. She's excited. That is amazing. Wow. Holy fudge. <laughs> That's fantastic. And it looks really pretty. That is so good. This is really good. There's like only a couple cocktails I like. I like gin and tonics. I like a good mojito. And sometimes you can, you know, get me into a coconut cocktail, something that's kind of really coconutty. That is friggin' delicious. That's so good. Yeah. I'm glad we did it last. I am too. These two won for me the Blinker and the Silver 75. Yeah. Definitely worth checking out. They're very summery. Yeah, the Boulevardier and then the the apple and whis the whiskey and apple juice yeah. were both solid, especially once we modified the recipe on this one. If you like what you're seeing on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this little <laughs> bit of a circus train wreck that we did here on the cocktail video, but it was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Well, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. No eating the ingredients. It's maple syrup. All right, we got it. This. Oh. <laughs> no, it's a twist top. Boulevard. 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 Boulevardier. Boulevardier. I, put my, I gotta put my pinky out on this one. <laughs> Cocktails all the time. <laughs> I love how you just pour things into the pour. Jeez! <laughs> it's all over me now! Jamie!